Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Sword Art Online Hollow Fragments. And once again, we are doing another event, which is go to Agile's shop and talk to Asana. それほどでもないさ。アスナにもかなり助けてもらっちゃったし。いろいろあったよね。二人で鍵を見つけたり、部屋の指輪を見つけたり。ああ、そうだったな。俺はアスナが作ってくれた味噌汁の方が記憶に
simply because she has the lowest level of intimacy with us at the moment and teaming up with the ladies does help along with doing um, events with them so that's why I'm going to team up with her and it's been a very long time since I teamed up with her anyway so where are you? Oh look, Philia has an event above her head. Um, there's no events on the list though. This might be to do with the DLC. I'll talk to her anyway now and see what it is. Yes, it is. A favour to Kirito. So all of this, whenever the ladies say that after the update, it's um, hollow area special mission with each lady basically. Okay, so it's right here later. So yeah, all the main ladies have this. Asuna, Silica, Lisbeth, Leafa, Shinon, Philia, they all have um, DLC special quests for the hollow area. So that's what it is when you speak to them. So let's go over to NPC Kirby first of all yeah. and uh, pick up these side missions for this floor. Walking Flower of Pollen Hell. Venom Flower. Um, yeah, defeats seven of those. Little Wings. At the forest in floor 88, collect four blue feathers. Glowing eyes in the darkness. From the crab in... Cra uh, crab? <laughs> From the crab in floor 88, collect eight sturdy chitin. Is that? Okay, where are you, Strie? I cannot see you anywhere. Ah, there she is. Okay, so let's use the teleport gate. I wish teleport to the hollow area wasn't at the top, because sometimes I press that by accident. Okay, so we are now in Sebelassive. I can't even say that. Let's have a look. That does look super nice, by the way. Um, let's have a look at the armor, just in case. Ooh, agility goes down, but everything else goes up. I might buy that. But I won't equip it at the moment. Physical resistance increase. Ooh, but the thing is, the one I've got at the moment, I'll buy it, but I won't equip it. Let's have a look at the weapons. Meh. To the field! Dim, dim plant marsh.
Okay, so let me just talk to Strie a second. Character info. So I'm working on defense, it seems. Let's just see if I can change her costume. No, I can't change her costume at the moment. Let's check weapon. So this weapon was actually a uh, concealed area weapon that I have given her. Venom Meteor. So I thought I'd show you guys so you, you can see uh, how strong it is. So I'm working on her defense. So let's get going. <laughs> to go around. So this is for one of the side missions from NPC Kirby as you can see at the top of the screen. We should just wait until they be spawn. Come on, be spawn, guys. It's quite a nice looking area, actually. need two more that side mission done with so let's advance forth oh it's back up here just need to cash that in with NPC Kirby when we return interrupt mission defeat four blue rogue brothers the need to switch. I know my risk level is really high but these enemies are just dropping like flies so I don't see the point in switching. I might do when a herd of them end up following me but there's not a time limit on this interrupt mission I notice. Normally when we have them, there are, so...
One-handed sword, phantom straight. Okay, so this is my weaker sword, so let's have a look. Agility is higher, dodge is higher, but everything else drops down. I do keep these swords and properly compare them when I go back to town, by the way. It's just too tedious to sit there and do, like talk about them for ages <laughs> on the uh, episode. Right, okay, let's explore the rest of the map. We still haven't done this interrupt mission. I mean, that's the point. Where's my quests? Blue feather in the forest. Right, okay, so we are actually in the forest now, so I should really look for gather spots. Yeah. Now my sword skills have been cancelled by this damn crab. I'm not using another sword skill because it's so close to death. mission in a second. Congratulations! Charm, amulet of power. Right, okay, so let me just get all this. So, agility goes down by 12, dodge goes down by 6. Um, everything goes up quite a bit though, everything else. Let's 
screw it, I'm switching to that. And the other thing I got earlier was the charm, wasn't it? Amulet of power, wow. Okay, so blood anth is bleed plus 60. This is why I'm always bleeding my enemies because not only do I have... I have bleed on a weapon, don't I? Yeah, bleeding plus four on blood hero. Um, I don't have bleed on this sword, but I did. The other sword I had previously had bleed on as well. And then combined with blood angst, it's like I'm constantly bleeding the enemy. And sometimes it's, it's um, you know, it's double bleed as well, which is nice. So I am tempted to keep on blood angst for now. I do want new... I mean, I got this new chest armour, which is awesome, the nightmare coat, but... I do want to get more armor. I never seem to find any, so. Anyway, that'll do for now. I haven't seen any feathers though for this uh, other side mission. going to ignore that guy. Damn, the bridge is just totaled. So it looks like we're going to be hopping over the leaves. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop this episode here. And on the next episode, we shall continue exploring floor 88. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share the video, guys. All types of engagement help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching.